One of the questions we get asked frequently is, what's the difference between the, the regular Touchstone business and the smaller Touchstone small business account? And in a nutshell, the small business account is really designed for a small business owner who has maybe two or three employees and is looking to grow. And the Touchstone application is really designed for larger businesses, maybe five, seven, 20, 30, 50 employees. One of the big differences between the two accounts is that with Touchstone Small Business, there is only one login. Now, multiple people can log in concurrently, but every person that logs in is logging in with the same URL, same email address, so they have unlimited access to everything. In the more robust Touchstone application, every user is given their own login. And in that way, you can control what they can see and you can control what they can do with what they can see. So for example, I might have five salespeople and one of them is a long-term loyal salesperson who I really need to help me write processes. And the other four, I don't want them to have access to editing or creating new processes. So I can give one of the salespeople create access and the other four salespeople have read-only access. So the Touchstone Business application, you can control what people can see and you can control what they can do with what they can see and the Touchstone Small Business application, everyone can log in, but they log in using the same URL and they have unlimited access to everything. There are some other features in the Touchstone application as well. There are many more tools. In the Touchstone Small Business application, there are only two tools. There are There's some functionality in the Touchstone application such as process assignment, the AI tool, the, the, the general process library, these are not available in the small business application. But for the rest of this video, I just want to go in and show you what the difference is between these two applications. So I'm going to start with the Touchstone small business application. So I'm going to log into a demo account of small business, touched on small business. And as you'll see, when you log into the small business application, you log in directly to the organization chart. Each one of these positions, you'll be given a sample org chart, something like this. And one of the first things you'll do is you'll create your org chart. And this org chart functionality is exactly the same in both applications. You can um, add a position, edit a position, remove a position. You can click on a specific position and uh, uh, change things, update them. You can move positions around. So if I wanted my um, customer service rep to report to the manager of, of marketing and sales, I can move boxes around. So the functionality here and within the Touchstone Small Business application and the Touchstone Business application is exactly the same. When you first get a Touchstone Small Business account, and if you click on any one of these positions, they will be empty. You will have to create your own processes, but it's very simple. You just simply click on a specific position. You click on Add a New Process. You give the process a name, how to handle a customer complaint. You click Save. That process will then be added to this position's job description. If I click on it, best practice is to write a sentence or two that describes what is the purpose of having a customer complaint system. The next thing you want to do is you want to write either a work plan or use the document tool to actually document the process. A work plan, these are step-by-step -step instructions, and the work plan tool and the document tool, these are two of the nine different tools that are part of the full Touchstone application, but in this application there are only two. So if I was to handle a customer complaint process, I would maybe create a work plan called How to Handle a Customer Complaint, and it kind of walks me through. Add task. Well, how does this start? Receive a complaint from a customer. And then the next task, find out and document all the details of the complaint. The next step might be ensure the client that you will take 
pair of them. Uh, you know, whatever. We, we write the process here. And then step two, step three, step sto four, step five. And you write this process here. If there's a letter that needs to go out or an email that needs to go out to the customer, you can put it in the document tool. So maybe there's a an, an, an email that gets sent right afterwards. Um, email to follow up a complaint call. And... He, here you might have something like subject line following up our call moments ago and you might have the email body and you would enter the email you want to send here basically the text that you would have and that way at the say that like at the end of the customer complaint work plan, you say something like immediately after uh, ending the call, send the email to follow up a call. Grab this and hit the hyperlink button and there's a document called email to follow up a call and hit insert and save. And that way, as someone's following through the process, they can just come to here, click that. It goes to the email. They can copy the email, paste it into Outlook, Gmail, something like that, edit it, send it, and continue on with the process. So this is pretty much all of Touchstone Small Business. Very simple, very effective. If I needed more people to handle the customer complaints, I could say, okay, this also gets linked to the outside salesperson and the customer service rep and a project manager and maybe the receptionist. So what I just did is I clicked, this is the process, how to handle a customer complaint. I clicked on the link to job description. It pulls up my organization chart and I can assign it to these people. So now if I go to the receptionist's job description, you'll see that customer complaint is right here. Okay, now let me exit Touchstone Small Business and log into a Touchstone Business account. So in the Touchstone Business software, I'm going to log in as an employee, not as myself, because I have unlimited access to the account. So let's look at what a user sees. So this is Sabrina. Sabrina is one of our customer service reps. When she logs in, the Touchstone knows that she's a customer service rep, and if she clicks on over here, she can't access any of those other job descriptions or processes on those job descriptions. Now, normally, a user doesn't go to the org chart. They just click here, and they have all of their processes here, and they can organize their processes in groups, not something that's available in the small business application. You'll also notice these check marks. As a manager, I can train a user and check off as I'm training them. And then you'll also notice that over here, there's a, there's a tool for assigning processes. Um, let me log out and log back in as myself. I, as the manager of sales and marketing, you'll see here that I've assigned a process to Jim. If I click on Jim's name, it says this is how to, to delete the scanning documents, and there would be a note that I wrote him. If we looked at the note, it would tell us that, you know, Jim, please look through the delete scanning documents. And then Jim would log in, click on this, and he would see the, the process. And when he completed it, it would move from assignments to completed assignments. This functionality is not in the small business application. You'll also notice that if I'm training Sabrina, for example, and I wanted to train her in the inbound emails process, this green check mark here tells me that I've already trained her. And if I go to the work plan and look at my management notes, you'll see I trained her on June 9th, 2021. And if I click on this, if there were any notes that I'd written in here, they would all be right in here. This functionality is not in the Touchstone Small Business application. One other piece of functionality, if we go to the four key functions, there are no four key functions in the Small Business application. In Touchstone, we look at all of your processes and we say that everything in your business really has only four categories. You've got sales and marketing. So these would be all of your processes for marketing. You have processes for delivering on the promise that you made to your clients in the sales process. So these would be processes for things like customer service, operations. 
You've got processes for guiding the business from where you are today. So these would be processes for strategy and management. And then finally, you've got processes for finance, admin, HR, IT. And it's, instead of having just two process tools, you actually have several process tools. You have up to nine process tools. So you'll notice in this one, I have work plans, I have checklists, I have scripts, I have uploaded files, I have documents, custom forms that be com can be completed, videos, audio. And the last thing I'll say is that if you are creating a new work plan, for example, and I want to go up to here, I, I can actually put in here, give me a step-by-step -step plan for whatever it is that you're doing, like a customer complaint process, and hit go. And this is our chat GPT integration that will look through literally trillions of, of pieces of data uh, across the internet and come up with a work plan that you can then add to your system and then edit it. So those are the, the biggest differences between uh, Touchstone Small Business and Touchstone Business. And then lastly, Touchstone is $149 a month on a month-by-month -month basis, unlimited users. Touchstone Small Business is $36 a month on a month-by-month -month basis. Both of them have annual agreements. So the Touchstone Small Business application is $348 a year or at $29 a month. And Touchstone Business is $1440 uh, for the year, uh, which is basically $120 a month.